Welcome to Mrs. Peach Thrifty Living. I'm so happy you're here today. Today I want to show you something. My friend, our Sally, gave me this many years ago. Let's see if we can open it. Woo. And she's going to show us how to make it. You want to open that one up and then I'm yes. going to introduce you. I can close it, right? So okay. these... I call them the accordion photo album because it folds down like an accordion. There you go. And stickers and journal in them and just keep your memories. And she's going to show us how to make it today. And I'm going to step out of this and she's going to give us a learning lesson today. <laughs> Me too, because I don't know how to do it. Okay. okay. So what are we going to do first? So we start off with three um, different cardstocks. And by different, I mean it could be different colors, it could be all the same color, all three of the same color, or three white ones, three black ones, it doesn't matter. But there's a certain folding to them to make it an accordion. You fold it across and put a good crease on it. I like to come back and fold it, um, crease it again through the other side. Then you fold it diagonally. Keep your corners together, and again, put a good crease on it, and again, I fold it the opposite direction to crease that area just the same. So we have, then we fold it diagonally the other direction. Where you have creases on from corner to corner so that you're able to fold the paper over. So you're doubling it both times. Yes. Sure you're getting good creases. So now I've got the creases here and you bring the corners together. Bring these corners together. It should work a lot easier than this. Let's see. Let me recrease this one. So what you do is you bring the corners together and bring this here. It's going to make a square. And this corner, fold it over. And it's just going to follow the crease you've already made. So it'll look like this. And you bring them all together. So all the openings will end up right here. And the corner is over here and again you just recrease it and you're going to take are you going to do the same with those same with those okay so now, this is the same okay with, and now what we're going to do is stop here just a minute she will do those for this won't be too long and then we'll be back okay we're back on she's going to show you some more of it it's the same but uh so this is the the last of the three and I'm still just creasing the papers. Again, like I said, I turn it back over and recrease it, recrease the same crease on the back side of it. It just makes it easier to fold the papers into a square if you've recreased it. And you can use any of this kind of paper. You have books of them over here. Yes. Um, well, for this middle section, for this part that I'm doing right now, you'll want to use cardstock. This here is the scrapbooking paper, which is just paper. It's not the harder cardstock the paper. paper. Yes. You keep working with it, huh? <laughs> yes. Yeah, because I. It will work eventually. <laughs> yes. You just have to. There you go. Kind of origami. There you go. Kind of have to do origami with it. But you fold it together where all the open ends are on this, this end here. You have all the open corners over here. And the closed corners are over here. So you fold it together where you bring the, the outside in and hold it. And then these here will just come together oh, like neat. this. Then now that you have the three folded together, you, you have can to open them. 
Okay. Yes, you okay. reopen it only to glue them together to put this one here on top with this one. And I'm going to do green, gold, green. Now, I want to ask a question. Is this the kind of glue you always use? Yes. This Elmer's glue? I mean, I don't really know which one's the best because I'm a newbie. In <laughs> so, here you go. Yeah, you'll want to use the Elmer's glue. Um, you can use a different kind of glue, but remember you're working with paper, so if you use um, very liquidy glue, it'll wet the paper too much. Okay. So, okay. you... So uh, Elmer's glue or any... So you glue this whole... Yes. The whole one... So I just... One fourth of the paint. Yes. I just paint the whole corner. So you've got three corners, or three squares, I'm sorry. You've got three, four squares. I just choose the one square and paint it with glue. Okay. And basically just... Um, oh, what I was going to say also is you could use any... Um, scrapbooking glue which most of the time it is this one that they that scrapbookers use because this I've is I've never done scrapbooking hardly oh, at all really <laughs> this is scrapbooking right here so we glue this one together and okay. again with the same corner you can either put the green underneath it and keep the orange or the gold all one color or put the green on top, and you've separated the color of the gold and the green. Mm -hmm. Which are your choices? I think I'm going to go with okay. the gold on the bot, um, the green on the bottom. Which then I'm going to flip this to paint this with the glue. And be generous with the glue because you don't want this to come apart. I've had mine for, I can't tell you how many years. Do you remember it's, how many years? No, but it's, it has to be over 20. Oh my goodness. It has to be. And see, look at these. And they are so cute. Look at those. And this I put my, um, when I, I became a Tops one time. Oh, I have right in here, 2000, yeah. 2009 on this, uh, the picture. One of these pictures in here. I'm thinking... That picture of Melissa and Andrew, Melissa was junior high. Okay. She's oh, she's 35 30, now. Yeah. Oh. So that, that's that been a long yeah. time. You can tell oh, yeah. Arcelli's been my friend for absolute years. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so nice. Okay, so then now we're going to fold this, all of this together to that size by the, the top one, the corners come in. And you can bring the top one down. Then in the middle one, the corners go out. And then it, you bring it down. Again, crease the, your um, creases so that it'll um, all set right. Then the last one, the corners come in. So the first one, the corners come in. The second one, the corners go out. The third one, the corners come in. Oh my goodness, that and, is so awesome. And I'm glad I'm learning something after all these years. <laughs> and try to keep it as um, square as possible. Then you've got your accordion. I love it. Okay, now wait a minute. Now this is what I wanted, and I asked you and you told mm -hmm. me, but you got to tell these guys because they don't know. This this is hard right here. How'd you do that? So, the best way I found is I go to the thrift store. She, she's my I thrift store buy, friend. Oh yeah, thrift <laughs> store for everything. I will buy the um, game board. Um, I'll buy the games maybe three dollars, two dollars. I don't play the games that I'm buying because I'm going to cut the the board. That's why I buy them the ones that have the game board on them. So that I could use this cardboard. And they're folded too, mostly, I think. Yeah, okay. yeah. And um, I I outline out the size I need and cut it. If um, you can't cut it, maybe you can ask husband to cut, help you cut it. Husband, boyfriend, somebody. And that's what I do. And so then I will put paper on these. Cute little paper. Glue them on there. Glue 
glue them now to here and we have the ribbon. little album. Okay, do you want to do the I'll stop this just a minute? Okay. Can you do the next part? Do you want? Yes. Okay. Okay, what are you doing now? So what are you gonna do? In order to put the fat the not the fabric, the paper she on does, the cardboard. She does, she does. I also quilt, and so I've got tons of fabrics, and I'm on fabric on the brain. But in order to, to decorate your little cardboard, remember it was the the a Scrabble game board? Um, in order to decorate it, I'll cut out a piece of paper and glue it to the cardboard. You want it overlapped. What I, what I wanted to do, what I, I need to do, though, is cut off the corners of this 23 by 23 inch piece of paper for my 16 by 16 cardboard. So you could do whatever size cardboard you wanna to use to go over the your papers that you've already folded. But um, I find that the 16 by 16 works perfect for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the corners on this one. So why are you doing it? The reason why I need to cut off the corners, and I've already got them marked, is so that when they, when you glue them on here, when you glue this to here, you're going to fold these over and glue them. You don't want a lot of bulk on the corner. Okay. So that's that's why if you have a lot of the paper still there, it'll, it'll be very bulky on the corner. And then harder to glue also, because then you'd be trying to glue all that bulk down. And this way, it's just easier... To just glue down the every on the on the sides and not worry too much about the corners the game board is sturdy cardboard if you didn't cover the corner completely if there's a little bit showing it's not a big deal it already has sturdy paper on it and it doesn't matter what side you're going to put down because you're going to cover that up too you're going to cover it up because that's the part that's going to go on top of this. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so it won't matter. It will be covered. So, there we go. Okay, I'm going to, now you're going to be real generous with that too? Generous okay. with the glue again. Uh, we'll stop just for a minute here. Now, so, you got all glued together. We got, we got the cardboards glued. And um, so that was just putting the glue on the edges and bringing them over. And so then now, in order to make our little um, albums like this, now we're going to glue this cardboard to the back side and this cardboard to the front side of the album, like this. Again, we're going to be very gracious on the glue so that this will last for years. And I just basically paint the back side with glue on the area that's going to be glued. You don't want to do it all the way over to the edges because the edges is, is going to be on the outside a little bit. Leave a little rim. Yeah, yeah, leave a little bit of a rim. And so I've got this glued like this. And I'm going to glue it here to which I don't know right now whether it's the front or the back. Because Does it make a difference? It doesn't make a difference until you start putting your pictures okay. in it. Okay. Yeah, and then you've made your front or back depending on where your pictures go. Oh my goodness, look at that. So here's one. I'm going to lift it up and... Not quite happy with it. Yeah. yeah, bring the corner to the corner. And then we're going to put glue on this side and then glue it to here. So, or you can even glue this here, which would probably be easier because this whole thing will be on okay, the paper. Okay, that makes where, sense, yeah. Where this one, not the whole thing is on the, on the paper. There is a little lip that, that comes out. That's awesome. And we're almost done with it. Then you can put ribbon. You had ribbon on mine. I think I bought yes. one of the ribbons. <laughs> and and that was just to close it shut. But again, if you use the uh, cardboard from the game board pieces, or game boards, um, 
you yeah, don't because this is that's no, still that's too. heavy enough yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah and and you could put a ribbon to just decorate close it shut uh, for a decoration mm -hmm. but here we go oh my goodness that is it so should cute. all be glued together now just kind of press hard enough that you know that it's it's picking up on the on the glue then you find your corners and you decorate it. And then you decorate it. And you will show so how you So that this. it will look. You may hold that one? Oh, here. Okay. This one? So that it would look like this. This is your beginning stage here. And you put your pictures, generally about six pictures. You want to do about six pictures. You could um, cut them and paste them in here however you want. And decorate with, um, this is so cute. Wow, with wow, stickers. Wow. Uh -huh. According to your pictures, if it's baby pictures, you want to do baby paper, and um, there's oh, a yes, lot sure. of paper yes. to choose from. Here's a stack of just oogles of different paper that you can pick from to cut and decorate around your pictures. That like, is so neat. This one is a is a beach theme, so the papers are water and sand, and yours is. Um, I went ahead and I didn't really quite, and see, I didn't, see, I put mine to the side, because I didn't know how. <laughs> so you, and that's you, fine. You open it up oh, this way. Oh, there's more this way, and that's fine. Yeah, and see, you know, I mean, that was whenever I became a top, so, and so it's just kind of more And stuff. it's, um, <laughs> it's journaled. She has hers journaled, where, um, stating what the picture's related to, and on this other one, the, the one that I did years ago, I didn't really write on it, but I used stickers right. that have different sayings. This one, for example, says, are there sharks out there? Go outside and play. And Joyce, on her pictures, she wrote what right. um, yeah. what the event was right. for the That's picture. Right, true, yes. Now, so. will you tell them one hint that you told me about the glue and the fabric? Oh! Now, this is, uh, she sews all the time, does the most gorgeous quilting <laughs> and embroidery. <laughs> One time, I showed her something I embroidered. <laughs> she turned it to the back side. I know I told you this one time. And she turned it to the back side and didn't look what I did in the front. <laughs> because <laughs> I told I her that in the Mexican culture, and I did it as a, as a funny with Joyce. Yes. Not that I was criticizing the back side of her work. But that's what they do. A lot of the ladies in the Hispanic culture will look at the back side to see how good the work is that you, that you, you ha how good your workmanship is from the front side. To the back. To the okay, back, now yeah. Tom, this one last thing and then we need so to go. So what I was sharing with her is that um, if you're sewing and you've got a long stream of fabric that you're putting together, you can get um, Elmer's glue, the school glue, the, um, it's water-based glue, so it's not gonna damage your fabric and you would put it along the edge of the fabric and and iron it together with the next one that you're going to sew it to. So you would put a, a bead of glue all the way around whatever you're going to sew, iron it together, the heat of the iron holds the glue together. Now you don't have to pin. Now you could just get this long um, fabric that you're doing and just bring it to the sewing machine and sew it inside the glue you don't not, want to sew not, the glue. Not on the glue, inside of where the glue is. So if the glue is right on the edge, you're going to sew a quarter of an inch in. And um, sew it. It makes it so much faster. And you're not poking yourself with the pins as you're sewing along. And when you throw it in the wash, the um, glue just washes off because it's water-based. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. This was fun. Yes, I, I really enjoyed having our silly come today and show us this and I, I bet somebody out there was going to be making one of these. Maybe oh, I'll yes. do, do one. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's see. Subscribe, like, like, comment, and share. If you know somebody that would like this, uh, do that. And I just pray God blesses you. That's most of all. Amen. That God blesses you every day. That you remember Jesus loves you. And I'll see you next time. Amen.